Sometimes you feel like a nut. Good evening, farmers. Yeah, good evening. It's time for a night shift. Still April 1st, I think. Uh, hang on, let me get up. We, we got our rest back. Got still the first. Uh, right around midnight-ish, close enough. But I thought, you know, if we keep skipping time, it's going to take... No, no, no. It's going to take us more... Seriously, can I get into the harvester, please? Not the way to start a video. Come on. Thank you. So if we kept sleeping, we would miss days to do work on other people's farms. So I thought, well, there's one way around this problem. Start doing a night shift. That's right, night shifts. Workers are going. We're going. Farmers do this. I mean, come on, night shifts. It's time to get it on. Uh, that way we can finish this field up tonight, obviously. That's the goal. And I've done this in a previous episode. I don't know how many episodes ago it was. Maybe someone can, you know, if they remember, link it or whatever. But one time I worked all night. Went to bed at 5.30 in the morning. Got up at 6 a.m. Fully rested. So, <laughs> uh, that's the thing. So, our goal for tonight, uh, I don't know, I just, I basically just want to finish this field. And depending on when we finish it, maybe I'll start working on another field. But when it gets to be like 5 o'clock in the morning, We'll head back to the house and we'll call it an episode. But until then, we got we got work to do. We got some mighty fine work to do. I will say though, before I start recording this episode, uh, it was quite of an issue. I had a hard time loading up the save game again, and I had to go tinker around a bit. <laughs> Yeah, that, uh, ta you have to kind of sometimes load task manager up when the game's loading. If the game doesn't load during the load screen, then it crashes. Hopefully in the next update, that's something that's optimized and fixed. I don't know, I think some people still have that problem with it. A lot of people have a problem with, uh, C++, C++, yeah, C++ runtime errors still. But, uh, yeah, until an update is out, we can't... We just got what we got. Uh, probably I should check, because I can't remember. We do have... One, two... Oh, no, this guy finished. Okay. Well, I can't hire someone for this, this field, so let's hire someone... For this one here. Uh, that is only three workers, right? Yes. Uh, so that one's harvested. Uh, oh, I gotta wait six seconds. I'm like, why? Why you want it higher? So we'll get all these fields done tonight. That'd be well, no, because we gotta do two others ourselves. So probably not. <laughs> yeah, because we got uh, actually not that much left of this field actually I thought I had more than that harvest and sell there now we got four workers yeah we'll get done when we get done uh, in the first well the first is not even actually over yet uh, we were hoping to get two million dollars by midnight and yeah we're, we're over that so <laughs> we're doing pretty good uh, winter canola is doing just fine I really don't know how much we'll end up in the end when we do all the fields. Uh, two and a half million would be great. But I think we're going to be closer to three. Maybe. We got quite a few fields to go. Yeah, and I want to get all the fields done that I have to harvest. So then I can start doing some work for other farmers and working on our social points. That's our goal. 
That is the goal for the season. If you want to say a goal for season. Money, not really so much like last last season. Near the end, we kind of set a goal for one and three quarter million, which uh, it took a lot to get there, but we got there. Uh, this season, I mean, I would assume we would be over three million by the end of the year, but who knows? Uh, social point, I like to get up by the end of the season. Oh, do I dare do I dare say nine hundred thousand? That seems like a long stretch. Uh, you know what? That's good enough right there. Uh, can you stop so I can get out? Yeah, with the scaffolding like always. We'll run over because I don't want to accidentally click on one of the workers that are working and cancel the job. Which is very easy to do. Alright, let's go around. We'll empty the combine harvester and keep on trucking. No, only two lights on this. Only two options for lights. But it's been kind of fun uh, starting today. At, well, what I mean today, uh, the, the start of spring cleaning. Just sitting there watching the money go up. Always, always fun, isn't it? Uh, empty into there, please. You're overfilling your combine. I don't think so. Just want to make sure I wasn't missing any, spilling any on the ground. Alright, so how are the workers? We do got four workers going here. That's good. Yeah, so maybe by the end of this episode we'll be at two and a half million. Uh, we only got like five more hours of work time to go. So I hope to get this field done and then we got, got to work in that field over there because I know we can't hire a worker for that. And as for plowing, cultivating our own fields, uh, we're going to hire workers in the fields that they can work in when it comes to it. And then other, unless we don't have no job to do. So our focus after we get done harvesting is just do other farmers jobs and if we got time for us today we will kind of plow and cultivate the fields that we can't do other than that we're, workers are going to work our own fields this year because right now they're just so darn cheap it's not even funny i've been doing some math in previous episodes wondering oh is it cheaper to hire a worker or do it yourself and for the most part you either break even or it's cheaper to hire a worker so why wouldn't you now unfortunately like this big field here we have to do everything ourselves but you know we're not in dire need of money or whatnot and at this point like I said I'd rather work on social points and who knows, maybe when the update comes out, we'll be able to work in all the fields, or hire workers for all the fields. It was fun the first couple times working in this field, you know, the challenge of plowing, cultivating, seeding. It would take all day, but that's kind of worn us a little bit thin. I don't want to do it all the time, so yeah, it's time to hire someone if I can. Now I kind of forgot how many loads we brought up to the sell point from episode one. Uh, well, I mean episode one, uh, spring cleaning for this year. I think it was six because it's been two days since I've recorded an episode. Although I'm recording this at, on the same day that the first episode went out. I want to say it was six loads I brought up to the sell point. By this point, we're going to be bringing so many loads up in, in this episode, and we'll probably have to do one more episode after this, where we'll be just harvesting. 
I hope we have all the fields that we need to harvest done by the third, so then I can start working other people's fields. Alright, we got enough to fill up the trailer. So let's back up here. And let's not overfill our trailer and waste it. We don't need to be wasting nothing. It's very, very important. Alright, so I'm going to get back to harvesting. We're going to fill up the combine harvester. I'll take the trailer up, empty it, come back, empty the combine. And I'll bring it back when it's just... Uh, a little bit more interesting and maybe almost near the end of this field and we'll see what we got. So it hasn't been that long since I said I'll see in a minute that I realized I'm not going to have a full 12 hours of harvesting to be able to do and record. <laughs> uh, because, uh, let's see, we just started at what, 11 o'clock at night and I pretty much got to head back to the farm around 5 o'clock, so that's only 6 hours of harvesting. So it's going to be like, I got to, it's going to be like half a day, really, than what I'm normally used to when recording. So yeah, we're not going to be able to harvest as much as we pro, or at least as much as I thought. So hopefully we can get up to 220,000 before 5 o'clock, because it's already 2 o'clock in the morning. Time does go quickly. So hopefully we can finish the big field by 5 o'clock. I hope so. At least uh, the money's going to go up pretty good. And it's going to go up even better when we start harvesting the fields up by the farm because these fields down here only have that one stage of fertilization on them. So when we get to uh, hire more workers up by the farm again those fields will yield more because they've got both artificial and cow manure spread on them. All these fields just have artificial fertilizer on them. And again, once again, in previous episode, we saw how a field with just artificial fertilizer on it compared to a field with both fertilization, fertilization stages on them. The field that didn't have cow manure on it was a bigger field than the field that had both stages of manure on it and artificial fertilizer. Uh, it was a ha half a hectare smaller and it produced a lot more. So we still got a whole bunch of fields up by the farm to do. So I'm hoping we can reach three, uh, three million by the end of spring cleaning. It's not that far of a long shot. I think it, I think we can reach it. But it'll take a couple more episodes to find out. We're going to have to harvest two more fields down here ourselves. And I think I'm going to have to harvest three fields up by the farm ourselves. We'll definitely make sure the workers are going non-stop. Turn on the light, turn on the harvester. Uh, okay, so I'm down to uh, harvest and sell that field please. I thought the money was starting to go just a little bit slower than usual. Okay, so uh, harvested 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 I gotta do that field that's harvested worker worker I gotta do that field so now I can start hiring workers up the, in these fields again that's harvested ready for harvest that's harvested ready for harvest can I I think this is a field I have to do Mm -hmm. 
maybe uh, cannot find a worker for that field all right so I'm just gonna do a field I know he can work in which is this one here gotta wait for that information to go away you have just hired a worker okay so we got four workers again we are working again I still got 20% more of this field to go if I don't get this field done by 6 o'clock then we'll just push on past and uh, stop at some point and then I'll go sit by the fire again regain some energy if you will and uh, so when I start the next episode I'll at least have some energy but we're pretty much not going to be sleeping too much till we get all of the fields harvested that we need to yeah we should be able to reach 220 I would think I don't know I, I really don't know but we pretty much got all the fields down here done that workers can do so they'll be going up to the farm now and of course I do have that small tiny field way on the east but that's such a small field we'll get to that when we get that it's not even fertilized at all that's that small field I bought just so I don't get uh, job offers out there and go oh I'm gonna get to do one of the big fields and I get this freaking small field out there it's a long ways to go to find out you gotta work in the small field so we bought the field just to avoid that little mishap now and then wow it's almost three o'clock in the morning seems like time <laughs> time is going by so quick when I do a regular episode from 6 a.m. to like 8 o'clock at night it seems like the time goes by rather slowly and now that I just want to get this field done by a certain time it's like yeah look, we're gonna speed up time for you good luck getting it done fella all right fill up the trailer once more we'll fill it up a couple more times I think but fill it up for now That's good. So I can I, I can actually think of three fields up by the farm that we have to do ourselves. So we're up to at least five fields. Oh wait. There might be a field that I usually have to plow and cultivate, but I can hire someone to harvest it, which makes no sense. So when these workers get done up here I'll have to try that field and see if that's what I have to harvest or not it's a pretty decent field I think it's a two hectare field as well so we got one three okay gotta kind of keep track of the workers because some of them are working small fields so it's not going to take them too long to get through we're at 4,000 so I'm thinking the trailer we got we'll have to of course sell that and we probably would get another trailer and a half out of this field but I would really like to get this done by 6 o'clock I'm not sure if I can but it is what it is we're going to finish this field Yeah, so just get ready for this episode, well, obviously this episode you're watching. Next episode will be more harvesting as well. I'm not sure if I can get all the fields done in the next episode. So we'll have to wait and see on that. So it could be two more episodes after this that we're harvesting.
Although, you know, it's going to take us two episodes to do this big field. But this is seven and a half hectares. The other two fields we got to do down here don't, uh, well, barely this total three hectares. So, well, this, uh, yeah. I'm trying to do some math in my head as I keep making circles. You gotta keep your mind busy when you're harvesting in the middle of the night. Well, this thing does need a good wash at some point, but it's gonna have to wait. It'll get washed in a couple days. When we're done. And I may even hire workers to do the wheat field. I haven't figured that out yet. Uh, I haven't tested it yet to find out. First of all, when they harvest it, do they lay a straw? Do they lay the straw on the field? And the other question is, what sell point are they selling that wheat to? Because that will make a huge difference. Alright, I think when we get to this corner, yeah, we're going to be more than good enough to... Might as well empty it up here when we bring the tractor and trailer back. Uh, let's go. Let's go, dude. Let's go deliver this stuff, man. Actually, now I can drive up here a little bit easier now that there's an opening. Uh, I have to drive on this side here. We'll wake up the neighbors driving right past their bedroom window, probably. Still got three workers up here. Looked like this field was it says harvested, but looked like must be just the way the shadows were looking. So this will push us closer to 2.2 million. I probably got about 12 grand sitting in this trailer. Too bad we can't see our social points go up like that. <laughs> yeah, it has taken a lot of gameplay hours just to get to 700,000 social points. And in the beginning, I spent a few on, on buying fields and whatnot. Mm. Probably overall, I spent maybe 150,000 social points. Definitely use it when I bought the harvester. Because I couldn't wait to get that thing. And on a couple fields I did. I think the first two fields I did, and I said, well, I'm going to start saving for the harvester because everyone says the new harvester collects much more grain. Which it does. 20%. Uh, Lower it down. Let's get a move on. It's already 4.30 in the morning. I don't think I'm going to get this field done by 6. So yeah, what we'll probably have to do is finish this field, go for a coffee break, and the next episode will be like probably 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, whatever it is. <laughs> uh, we're not going to finish this field. It is kind of neat to see a couple harvesters going in the background, so 
if the devs do get in the next update where NPCs work their own fields, you can see like tractors and trailers and things like that working in their fields. That'd be pretty neat. It was just nice when they got traffic in the game finally. Of course, the traffic does need a good tuning, <laughs> as we have seen through the, you know, through the episodes. Tell the sun's getting ready to come up. It gets brighter. But by working through the night, we will save us some days to where we can work in other people's fields. That's the whole purpose of uh, working the night shifts now. So we only got 8% more to go. So maybe, just maybe, but I don't think so. I think we're just going to run a little bit past 6 a.m. So we're not going to be able to get some rest. All right, so I think what we're going to do, uh, it is 5 o'clock. I want to push on just a little bit more. I'm hoping I can fill the harvester. Well, finish the field before the harvester, which is kind of kind of productive because that just means less grain. What we'll do is we'll leave the, the tractor and trailer there and we'll get back to the house as quickly as we can, jump in bed and get a quick quick power nap and call it an episode. But at least we'll ha have gotten the field done basically. probably need to teleport back to the wife's tractor with 15 minutes to go hopefully I can run upstairs and jump into bed that quick and I'm trying to get as much done as I can I'm probably going to end up screwing myself over If only this combine could harvest a little bit faster, that'd be great. Oh man, I got like 10 minutes. I really want to finish this field and then teleport back. But we're going so flipping slow. button that's the other game all right where's my wife's tractor perfect my wife is up <laughs> I slept two minutes <laughs> uh, I slept two minutes and we're at full health but yeah, usually I would be saying good morning farmers at this point, which, you know, it is a good morning. But uh, this is where we're going to call an episode so I can say good morning in the next episode. So, yeah, I hope you like some uh, night work, some night harvesting. Uh, you got to see I slept two minutes and I got full, not full health, but full sleep bar back. But yeah, there you have it. I appreciate you watching as always. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you, well, I don't want to say in the morning, but it is morning. <laughs> I'll see you, I'll see you in a minute or, or when the next episode comes out. But until then, have a good one.